At CES, Moen announced the smart sprinkler controller and the wireless soil sensors into their smart water ecosystem. And yes, they will be talking to Flow by Moen. So this is a pretty big move. And in researching what else is available in this space, there really isn't a whole lot, except if you happen to have a golf course or some little oddball soil sensors. Now, myself, I have a Melnor rain cloud and they do have soil sensors, but when I read the reviews back in the day, they didn't really have great things to say about it, so I never got them. But it's certainly something that, from a garden perspective, from a yard perspective, from watering trees perspective, you're, you're getting them. What's even better about this is that the sprinkler controller is tied into Flow by Moen so that when your sprinkler comes on, Flo doesn't think, oh no, there's a leak. And this is especially important in the spring. You haven't been irrigating during the winter and now it's time to start your system back up. So Flo by Moen doesn't think that you have a leak and cut off the water when it's really just your irrigation. So that's pretty interesting to see when you have two products that are now talking and you will have a much better experience. What I like about the soil sensors is that it does give you varying levels of how moist your soil is at the one inch level, at the three inch level, and at the five inch level. From my perspective, I would use that here in the garden beds to see, hey, I need to water my seedlings up on top, or just know that I can skip a couple of days. That would be a fantastic use case. And another interesting note is that the sensors go below ground, so you don't have to see them. That's nice from an aesthetics point of view, but you definitely would have to remember where you put them. So I have a couple kind of follow on questions is if they do happen to have any locating ability, as well as these are batteries that should last six years, are they replaceable or not? And then third is when you live in a place where you actually have a frost line, what happens to the sensor? Do they need to come out of the ground or are they okay in place? What is really exciting though is that Moen is continuing to innovate, just building that ecosystem so that you have more insight into your water from a perhaps conservation point or just saving money point. These are all good things so that you know where your water is going. And in this instance, you're not getting cut off because one system is talking to the other. So there's that shared knowledge in between knowing that you're you're good to go with whatever activity that you're doing out in your yard. So in any case, if you have Flow by Moen, this might be something that you're interested in. I personally would love just to play with the sensors to see how well they work. And we'll see from a long-term perspective how that plays out, how well they do. If you're curious in either one, I've put links in the description below. Right now, this is all on pre-order. So if you're looking at this video in the future and you have experience, by all means, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.